decision whether to come back yet? Uh, yeah, I decided I'm going to come back for my fifth year next year, um, start my master's degree, and uh, play another year of football. It's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> how would you, you come to that decision? Uh, just after thinking it through with my family and um, talking to Coach Harbaugh and uh, Coach Madison and kind of just figured out that uh, that's what I wanted to do and uh, come back and improve on some things and uh, yeah. And Chris Wormley was kind of your spokesman through this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's my roommate so I mean he probably knows me better uh, than most people so uh, yeah. I mean did you get advice from Chris? I mean was he, because he was saying from weeks, weeks ago that you were coming back for sure. Yeah, I think Chris kind of went through like a similar thing as me so he kind of got to see like uh, he kind of thought through everything already for himself, so um, we're pretty similar people, so he just assumed that that would probably be like the best decision for me and uh, going forward for uh, school and stuff like that. Was it meaningful, too, at the bus when Harbaugh was saying everybody text or tweet at you? Uh, yeah, it was funny. I, I, I couldn't go to the bus, so uh, it was it was crazy when I got on my phone and had all those notifications. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on because uh, I didn't hear him or anything like that, so... Did you get paperwork from the NFL Draft Advisory Board regarding where you might be drafted? I'm um, still waiting to get that back. Um, I did apply for it, so um, I should be getting that back, I think, in a week or so. Yeah. The uh, the snub for the all-conference teams, uh, talk about that a little bit. Does that motivate you? Uh, yeah, I think it definitely does motivate me. Um, I think it makes sense, I mean, for uh, some things to have that motivate you. Um, I mean, it is upsetting not to not to receive any sort of like honorable mention or anything like that. But I mean, in the same light, it's really exciting to see eleven players on our defense get that award. And I mean, that just speaks volumes to the type of defense that we've had this year and the kind of respect that we've earned throughout the conference. And um, I think that's great. I mean, I've never heard of that ever being done before. And uh, just like reading off some of our stats and stuff like that. I mean, it's just. It's really incredible if you look down to the like logistics of things and the numbers that we're putting up on third down and, and stuff like that and stopping teams uh, total yardage per game. I mean, it was it was really amazing so far this year. You said you're coming back for your master's degree. What in? I'm um, thinking either social work or uh, business. I'm going to apply to the business school and see if I can get in. And if that doesn't work out, then probably social work. Knowing you're coming back, uh, what does this game mean then as far as did you find last year that winning the bowl game gave you momentum going into the offseason? Does it mean anything looking forward to next year? I mean, it means everything. I think it, I mean, it puts a nice taste in your mouth. I mean, I've been there before where uh, we lost to Kansas State, and you kind of just have that bitter taste in your mouth the entire offseason. Like, you lost that, that game, and I mean, you didn't only lose, but you got, you got beat pretty bad. And I think it just puts a poor taste in your mouth. And, and beating Florida, we kind of had that positive attitude going throughout. Um, camp and throughout everything just knowing that we were playing our best football towards the end of the year and just kind of just keep the ball rolling and I mean constantly reminded of of the win and um, I mean I think it's just great momentum going into the offseason just to to prove that you're a great team and that your best football is yet to come. Can you talk about the challenge for your defense in this game especially with uh, Dalvin Cook? Oh I mean he's a he's a great player I mean watching him on film is is really special Um, I mean it's just it's great. I mean, he's he's done really well at Florida State, and um, he's done some really great things. And um, yeah, so what makes him so good, and, and what do you have to do to try to contain him? I mean, he's just fast. I mean, he if he gets outside and on the edge. I mean, we were watching their game versus Clemson, and he was he was there was five plays where he probably had like 120 yards. It was just five straight plays, and they were just all big hits. And I mean, that's that's the biggest part is just. Just stopping those big runs and stopping those big plays from happening. You, you're talking about how much this bowl means to you guys. So, so what would be your answer to people who say, oh, if you don't make the playoff, the rest of the bowls don't have nearly as much meaning? What would be your response to that? Um, I think it's just, it's it's our group. Um, I mean, it's so many, there's so many seniors and so many people that have been through so much. Um, I mean, we want to go down as one of the greatest defenses and. This game really, uh, really plays a factor in that, and I mean, I don't think anyone really remembers us for anything if we don't if we don't win this game. So I mean, it really just it means everything to us. And not being in that Big Ten championship and not being able to play in the playoff was a huge disappointment. But uh, being able to play Florida State and kind of show the country that we can play great football still and one of the best teams, it, it means a lot to us. And 
it's something that we're taking very seriously in, in both right? Look, things that you want to work on. Is it it's just being a starter, you looking at getting more exposure, or are there things in the game that you can get better at? Um, I think there's a lot of things that I can get better at. Uh, being a starter, yeah. Uh, I mean, just, just being more productive and, and just playing better and uh, just working on fundamentals and stuff like that. Uh, always can make improvements, and uh, I think that's something I'll be able to do uh, during this next year. Totally different line. Uh, obviously, this is what you, Chase, Rashawn, and uh, Brian. And yeah, I mean, uh, I've been playing with them pretty much all year, so um, I mean, it's very exciting. It's not really, not really too much of a change. I mean, those guys are so special in their own sense. Um, a little bit different players than the ones that we had uh, in front of us. Or, I mean, but I mean, they're all really special. I mean, Chase can be a great player, and and so is Rashawn. So is Monet. I mean, he's been banged up most of the year, but um, I think his best football is yet to come. And along with Rashawn and Chase, I think they're all just on on the upward trend. So, but they'll be looked at as the as the, the anchor the leader, the old guy in, the, in that line next year. But how does how does that change things for you in terms of like leadership, whatever else? Or? Um, I think. Some of the younger guys, you know, like. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think just being able to uh, communicate with some of the younger guys. I mean, I think we're we're bringing in a number of, of freshman D linemen. So, I mean, trying to get them ready um, along with myself and trying to make sure that they're able to play right away and kind of the same thing that that we did with Rashawn, just trying to make sure that he knows all his plays and knows where he's supposed to line and stuff like that. I mean, that's that's all huge for a freshman D lineman, and it's something that can be really difficult transitioning from high school to college. Um, it's one of the hardest things, I think. You've been a veteran, but I mean, you, you know, learning from a guy like Chris, who's gone through, you went through this two years, fifth year senior year. How much did that help, or will that help, you think? Um, I think it does help. I mean, uh, how you carry yourself as, as a leader of your defense, and um, I guess you got to be more careful of the, of the things you say and the, the conversation that you have with people. And um, I think it's something that's great, though, to uh, be looked at as a leader of your team and uh, something that everyone wants to be. And, uh, gives you a great opportunity to see where your leadership skills are at and stuff like that. Looking at the numbers and the impact you had on games, it's kind of stupid that you didn't get all conference honors. Does Jim Harbaugh tell you that and your teammates? Uh, no, he doesn't really talk about it. No? He doesn't really talk about it too much. Uh, pretty much just, just giving props to our whole defense, mostly for, for getting those honors uh, and a lot of the offensive guys as well. Uh, I mean, it really just speaks about our, our team so far this year. How much, how much juice does it add when you go up against, like, a Florida State? Like, 